in them in our pot. Why are you putting those in a bowl? I thought you just told that's me. That's for me. No, I did not. I asked why are you? I asked where. I, oh lord, okay. this is already going to the left. I have to cut this up. We should stick to mukbang. I have It's the Southern Snackers. And welcome back to a new episode of Cooking with the Snackers. I'm Bucky. And I'm Brandon. And y'all, today we're going to do some experimenting with yes. a classic dish. This is our first ever cooking show, really. Yeah. Well, not this not live. We've done right. a live before. But we went live and that was fun. Yeah, so we're going to do, y'all, today we're going to do a twist on chicken pot pie. Yum. We came up with the idea, basically, we just both kind of brainstormed our ideal chicken pot pie or something we want to have fun with. And y'all, before we get anything else going, I just want to say we have to get the chicken to cook in. Yeah, this is going to take the longest. So, <laughs> we've got, so in, uh, in order to just kind of make things go a little faster, we just got some frozen boneless chicken breasts, y'all. Uh, I just went to Walmart and got all these supplies. So a lot of this is going to be great value brand, Walmart brand. You know you know us. We're not bougie people. We love the store Walmart, Walmart brand. Yeah. But basically, we've got our pie crust up here, y'all. So eventually, what we'll do is once these, these are frozen, they'll thaw. Once they thaw, we will take one of them out, kind of flatten it out, and put it on top of the other one, which Ooh, we'll see later. And like make the cool little yeah, we'll design. design. Whatever you want to do on oh, top of Oh, this is going to be fun, y'all. So just to give you a little heads up about what kind of pies we're doing, I'm going to take, I'm going to go on a little Mexican adventure today, y'all, and I'm going to try to make something I just came up with. I don't even know how this is going to go, but I'm going to make what I'm going to call a Southwestern chicken pot pie. Why don't we, while we're talking about this, put the chicken, get that going, that way we're not waiting here all day. We'll get that going and then we'll talk about the pie that we're going to do. Oh, okay. We don't want y'all to wait here all day. It's not boiling yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there just to get it warmed up, thaw a little bit. And basically, while he's doing this, I'll tell you a little bit about what kind of pie I'm going to be doing. Ooh. Brennan went and talked about his a little bit. He can go into more detail. But I have decided I'm going to do like a chicken ranch veggies type of chicken pot pie i don't really know i just know that i love ranch and y'all know we love ranch so i'm gonna somehow incorporate ranch into this chicken pot pie because obviously that would be really really good um so we have some broccoli to go in there some corn peas and carrots a lot of mixed veggies um cheese that's for me oh so what are you exactly, what exactly are you doing? So I'm doing Southwestern chicken pot pie, y'all. So my chicken pot pie is gonna have potatoes, corn, black beans, some pico de gallo, some, uh, this taco blended cheese here from Walmart, which I love this cheese, y'all. If you do not know about this, this is a finely shredded taco blend cheese. It's shredded cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese with taco seasoning already on it. Uh, some sour cream and then you know ch Are you gonna put sour flour. cream inside yours? A little bit, not much. Okay, I'm then I'm gonna sure. save sour cream for the dot for the top. Oh. Oh, you're gonna use my sour cream? I mean, I'm just looking around and I'm like, oh. you know, we're just gonna be exploring today mm -hmm. and just kind of seeing what happens and yeah. I'm excited for it. So I think while the chicken's cooking, because this is gonna take a while. It is, y'all. We should do a shot and... And meet you back when we're ready to do some more things. Is that how cooking show works? I mean, yeah, the thing is, like, I don't know what to do. This with is our first cooking show. There's so just a lot of downtime, so, y'all, we're just gonna be jumping let's drink, ahead. And let's drink. So, we are gonna do a shot of Cafe Patron. We used to drink this so much. But we and y'all, if you don't know what this forever. is, it's coffee tequila. It's tequila. I mean, I don't know. It's tequila. It's Patron. I forgot. I never, like, connected the dots, I don't think. Alright, cheers. We'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> uh, y'all, that made me too hot. Ooh, that's it, chills. So we took a shot, y'all. So now that the, the chicken is cooking, hopefully, uh, we took a shot, loosened us up a little bit. So y'all, now we're gonna start making the rest of the filling that's gonna go in our bowls. This is the part where we're just gonna wing it. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling I'm like not even gonna look at the recipe. Maybe we should have started a little easier, but why not this just go? This is easy, though. It's just like a bunch of stuff in a pot. That's true. All right. It so, can't be that hard. So I'm going to go get some bowls for us to start mixing and cutting and everything. I'll open this. Okay. Oh, Lord. And a green bowl. We're like, we're like Rachel Ray. What's some other like food? 
Paula Deen. Paula Deen. We're oh, probably, we're Paula Deen. We're probably honestly most like that. We're just like Paula Deen. Except, Except we don't say bad things. <laughs> <laughs> you need help with that? You gotta dump it into something. So what we're gonna do, y'all, is we're gonna put everything that we're gonna put in our uh, in our things in, a, in our pot. Why are you putting those in a bowl? I thought you just told That's me. for me. No, I did not. I asked why are you? I asked why. Are you, I, oh lord, okay. this is already going to the left. I have to cut these up. We should stick to move ball. I have to cut these up to put in my uh, in my thing. Okay. Me so what we're gonna do, y'all, is we're gonna put all the things. That are not liquid. Okay, this is what we do. We're gonna put all the things, all things that are not that liquid, are in not this liquid, liquid into this bowl. And then we're and gonna do. Before I put mine in my bowl. Yes. And then we're gonna have a pan. <laughs> pan. Okay. Yeah. Pan. Where we're gonna heat it up, and then we're gonna mix it with the flour and the chicken and the, broth to make the the, the thickness. The, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need to cut my potatoes up first and foremost. So and I need out. to open up my carrots and peas. <laughs> Y'all, and let us. We've had so many people ask us to do like this we type really of have. video. And this is a this is funny. It's it it might seem like a hot mess, but it's fun. So y'all, I'm gonna dice these potatoes up real little. That's what I'm gonna do. Do you want peas and carrots in yours? No, absolutely not. Uh, that's Don't fine. put anything that is yours. Don't need all of it. It's all separate. However much you want. Probably not, but that's fine. Oh gosh. Because what we'll do is we'll make the mixture, then we don't have to put all the mixture in. The okay, pot. that's true. There's no law that says we have to. Do exactly. That. No laws here. And y'all, if any of y'all are like professional chefs, please do not come for us. We are just having fun and... Well, are we? Well... <laughs> it is a lot easier when we just order the food. <laughs> Honestly. And it's gonna get hot in here, y'all. I hate... That's the one thing I hate about freezing cooking. outside. We I love having a gas stove and oven, but y'all, when you cook with the gas, it gets right. so hot in the house. So we got the broccoli and the peas and carrots in there. And I don't think I'm doing corn, so I think this is my mixture. You so, probably should honestly cut those broccoli up because I don't I think you're gonna want the florets, you're not gonna want the cuts because it's gonna take up a lot of room in your mixture. Gotcha. Alright. Just a just a you know, just a thought. Alright, so we're gonna cut this up and we will be right back. Well, we'll be right back. You're not gonna cut on camera? Right. Why'd just, you say that? Oh, I'm sorry, are we going we can to commercial see. break? Commercial break. When you cook with the snacker. No, we're not the commercial break. So I've cut my potatoes, y'all. I'm not gonna put that many potatoes in. Now I'm gonna add my corn. And y'all, this is just so Bucky will not eat any of my chicken pot pie. He's putting some onions I'm in there. I'm putting pico in mine. Cooking with the snackers. We gotta edit oh. this out because your crack is showing. <laughs> Was it really? <laughs> A little bit. Wow. So for me, right now, I'm doing ranch. And I kind of want to just marinate the veggies with the ranch a little bit. I'm not going to use all the ranch right here, but just kind of sprinkle that over them. Let that just start soaking in as they um, start to deep froth. Mix that all together. Mm, Y'all, look at this. This is going to be what's in the inside of my chicken pot pie with my chicken. That actually looks really good, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Honestly, I could probably eat this with a spoon right now. Yeah, I'm going to put my taco season in here. Once the chicken's ready, we will come back and we'll be on the stove with our filling in the pan and cook it on Well, I'm done for now, y'all. I'm going to... Just pop off here real quick and I'll be back. Um, Cause I'm hot. So I'm gonna step in the other room for just a break. Buggy, you can keep doing whatever it is you're doing. All right, bye y'all. This is fun. All right y'all, so the chicken Ooh. is finally done. Y'all, it is piping hot right out of the water. That took forever. So we're gonna cut it up. We're gonna put it in our mixtures y'all. And then we're gonna Head on over to the stove and finish the filling up before we pour it into our handy dandy pie crust. So how, I'm cutting mine very, very small. Me too, like I'm gonna cut Almost like small. a shredded type. Mm -hmm. Just cause I feel like all my other ingredients are, are very like thick. Mm -hmm. And I want a lot of chicken in this. I'm gonna so actually move these pie crusts so I can cut what? mine here too. Ow! 
Oh my god, it's hot, it's hot. Oh well, yeah, it just came out of the bowl of water, duh. Sometimes I wonder about, well, never mind. And y'all, I love to, if I'm gonna make something with chicken, I love to boil chicken. Yeah, well, you can do it's anything so with It's so easy, it. you can put in anything. I mean, I just love it. Y'all, and let us know other things that y'all would like to see us try to cook. Like we said, this is our first time trying this. Um, hopefully it goes well, we will see. But if y'all have anything that y'all would like to see us try, um, tell us down below because we would love to, you know, give it a whirl. If you've never pulled chicken this way, I highly suggest that you check it out. You just take two forks, I don't know if y'all can see this or not. So you take your chicken, you put, you use two forks, you stab it with one here, then you use your other fork, you're gonna use it like a, just like a picker. So you're gonna pick chicken like this and that's gonna shred it. So just a fun fact. You that is a fun fact. Thank you for sharing. All right, so y'all, now we're gonna move over to the oven. So what, I mean, over to the stove. So what I'm gonna do is in one pot, I'm gonna make the, the broth or like the creamy mixture for both of us. Because we've got our individual ingredients in our bowls. So what I'm gonna do is, is so we don't have to dirty up another pot, I'm gonna use one pot. I'm gonna make the, the creamy part of our, um, of our pies in one pot that we will just pour into our respective bowls and then mix it up and then we'll pour it into our pies. So we're gonna head over to the stove now, y'all. So let's go uh, to the stove. We're there. <laughs> we're gonna make what I like to call the thickening. We've got some cream of chicken soup, some chicken broth, and some all-purpose flour. So what we're gonna do in this pot is we're gonna just make our thickening. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in some of the chicken broth. Simmer. Okay. Then I'm gonna do our cream of chicken soup. Sour cream. Okay. Now I'm gonna whisk all this together. Let it get nice and runny, for lack of a better word. Now I'm gonna put some milk in it. So we're gonna let this get warm. Then y'all what we're going to do is we're going to put in flour a little bit at a time and stir it in uh, and let it thicken up. Our flour is flour. So we'll put the flour in there. We just whisk. We beat it, we beat it, we whisk it, we whisk it. We whisk it deep, we whisk it deep. So what this is going to do y'all, this is going to thicken up the flour in there when we whisk it. It's going to be hot right now so we're going to whisk it together. Then when it, as it gets cooler it's going to get thicker. So what we'll do is we'll about half this and we'll put half in his, half in mine. All right y'all, so to make this as fair as possible to make sure we each get the same amount of broth, I'm gonna bring this over here and then I'm gonna dip it out and we're gonna pour it in our bowls. One cup at a time. One and one for me. Yep. All right y'all, I'm gonna mix in the rest of my ranch packet with my uh, ingredients one all mixed you. in. Yes. One for me. <laughs> Ooh, this is smelling good. And like we me. said, y'all, we are just doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and praying that it comes out one for good. You. And usually one that makes me. the best. Like, I feel like our parents and stuff, they never really measure no. stuff out. I don't think like- One for you. All right, we're done y'all. So now we mix it. Mine looks like a legit chicken mm, pot pie. This smells really good. I got this taco cheese here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my mixture. I'm not gonna put a whole lot of cheese, cause I don't necessarily want it to be like, what I would say cheesy, if that makes sense. I just kinda want a little bit of cheese taste in there. The oven is preheating to 450. Ooh, I think our things have stuff. Are they ready? To, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start Jeez. putting in my All right, toppings. Oh, here we go. So how full would you recommend putting? You, you wanna fill the pie up. Okay. So yeah. So just divide it out evenly. Maybe. Well, no, you wanna, you're just doing one. Yeah. And then we're taking, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Divide and y'all, we up. obviously made way too much pie filling. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get a lot of my chicken in it. What we're gonna do is, what I, well, what I haven't told Bucky this, but what we're gonna do is, at least for mine, because mine's basically like, I don't know, yours has that wrench in it, so I don't know how this will go, but I'm gonna save the rest of my filling and then I'm gonna add some more milk to it and I might make a soup. Oh. 
You can make like a ranch or a chicken ranch soup. Yeah, true. All right. Ooh. This is looking so. This really does look dang good. Y'all. Good. Like I am proud of the. I mean, not that it ain't done yet, and we don't even know what it's gonna taste Watch like. Watch it all gonna heal but, in the oven. So far, so good, y'all, honestly. And we've been doing this, I mean, how long? It's been over an hour. Oh, yeah. So this is take, it's a long process, but it's basically just because the chicken needed to cook. Other than that, if you got, like, you could even get, like, pre-cooked chicken. Okay. Like a oh, yeah. Chicken if you got a rotisserie chicken it, and pulled it, it would be way faster. That would be so easy, too. Here's mine. Here's what mine looks like. So mine is the Southwestern Chicken Pot Pie. That's it without the crust on top. Like you know, let me show yours. Yeah. Do you think that's enough? Yeah. You want them like smooth it down. Yeah. And then this is Bucky's. Yeah. Bucky's is looking like a more like a classic chicken pot pie, but it does have that ranch season in there. So that's what's kind of different about his. Right. So now this is going to be the part that I don't know how this is going to go. So we're going to take this other half, this other pie crust, and I'm going to take it out of here. And somehow try to conjure it up on top of our pies. So okay, I've seen people do this on the cooking shows. I think I can do this. And then we need to cut slits in the top. Yeah. So the edges do feel mushy. So that's how we connect it. Is it tearing? Yeah. No, it's not tearing so far. Okay. I'm getting the edges off, off of first. It. Okay. Gonna turn it upside down so we. Oh yeah! Shit! 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 Get it We're using gravity. Yeah, I'm gonna use gravity too. Let gravity hit oh, your shoot. Oh no. Okay, well I got my first uh, cut in my. So now we just dab the edges, kind of peel it over the edges. Okay. Ooh. Seal. You want to seal the outside as much as you can. Okay. Just kind of make sure the outside is, you know. Great. So now we cut slits in them. Mine already has a big slit in the top. Maybe I can like squeeze it together though. I'm just gonna do three long slits on top of that. We should do different slits so we know for sure which one is which. I'll do like a a plus. Well, yours size has slit. That, never mind. Yours has that big thing on top. So here's mine. Pre going into the oven, y'all. This is my chicken pot pie. My southwestern chicken pot pie, should I say? So now what we're gonna do is when we put these in the oven, we're gonna put them on the same baking sheet in the oven. And y'all, we will put them in the oven for 20 minutes to start and then we'll check them. 20? Oh my god, I hope they come out pretty. I'm kind of nervous now that we put the top on it. Your top looks a lot better than mine, so we'll see. So here they go, y'all. They're going in the oven. Oh, I'm nervous. Fingers crossed. Okay. And you have it on 450? I have it on 450 for 20 minutes. Fingers crossed they come out good, y'all. We'll be right back. Many, many minutes later. All right, y'all. So they have been in the oven now for 30 minutes. Yes. We are going to take them out. And y'all, the sides are getting a little brown. So I'm scared it's going to burn. So we're going to go ahead and take it out and see what they look like. And then y'all, we're going to dig. I'm them. excited to see what they look like. Me too. I just hope that. I mean, they look. They don't look. I mean, they look. You know, it looks good. Look at the pop. I mean, honestly, they look really, really, really good. Ooh. Can you get like a close up? Oh my gosh. No. There's our pot pies, y'all. Look at the edge. You know what it is, is where you had that extra crust. It dropped down on the pan and that's what's burning. So y'all, like we said, we're gonna dig in. Y'all, the second part of this video will be posted tomorrow. We're gonna do a book bong and review video of our pot pies. So y'all stay tuned uh, for next time on the Southern Sangers channel. You don't wanna miss it. They literally look, look really, really, really good. Main thing though, do they taste good? It's gonna Ooh. be so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Got a whiff of something.